Hi, today we're going to talk about a um, very interesting combination and very easy to find out in the horoscope, uh, which is to do, they're called solar combinations, uh, because they're to do with the position of the sun and any accompanying it planets around it. And because the sun is the planet of the masculine side of the person, of their uh, active side, the side with which they achieve their goals, their big ambitions in life, their dreams. You know, the sun is the masculine part of the person with which they go after the things, the big things in life, the big things they desire. So if a person has any of those solar yogas, which I'm going to talk about, uh, they will be able to have more resources available to them to go after their uh, their big desires in life, to go after their goals, to be more successful in life. That's why they're called more success-giving combinations. Well, of course, not everyone has those, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful. But if you have those combinations, believe me, you have already a plus and you have already uh, a, like a helping hand there to help you fulfill your goals and um, to, help the, to help you get where you want to be in your life. So first of all, we need to find the position of your sun in the horoscope and you have to go to my website astrolada.com enter the place and uh, the year month of birth if you don't know your time of birth it is okay you don't need it for this particular combination for the, the success giving combinations you don't need uh, to have the soul uh, to, to have the exact time of birth as long as you know the day and the year and you get a chart similar like this in my uh, in particularly in my uh, website the chart in my birth chart calculator will give you this chart and the starting point of this chart is the ascendant which is situated on top well if you're using western type charts they're the same they're just they, they have different graphics, but they express the same thing, basically. Uh, and if you're using Western type charts, this is the chart you're more familiar with. And I want you to find, if you're using my birth chart calculator, the position of the sun. And it will be indicated by the letters S and U. And it will be in a little square somewhere here. Or if you're using this type of chart, it will be, say, here. It can be anywhere, anywhere in all those 12 sectors which we call houses in astrology. These are the 12 different signs. So say your sun is here and I want you to find out if there are any planets before or after the sun. Not in the same square as the sun, but before or after. So say here, if you have a planet here or here or here or here. So these are the signs, these are not the houses we're looking at, we're looking at the preceding signs. As long as you have a planet falling in the sign before or in the sign after the sun, and this is the, the direction which the horoscope is moving, that's why the sign is proceeding, the sign is falling. You see, these are the, 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 the direction that the signs move in, you know, from the, the direction in which the horoscope moves it. Uh, going in counterclockwise. So the sign preceding the sun is this one, the one after the sun in the direction of the movement of the signs is here. And your sun can be anywhere. Your sun can be here. So this, this will be the preceding sign. This will be the following sign here. Uh, and uh, what happens is that those planets which are situated, for instance, you might have here Venus which are situated before or after the sun, and you might have here Mercury, for instance, these become, uh, uh, when you are born, if there are such planets in the signs before or after the sun, these become uh, rising or setting stars. So basically they become very bright in the sky at the time you are born. So uh, the planet which comes after the sun is usually a setting star. And at night when the sun is setting, sorry, which comes after, yes, and, and, and at night when the sun is setting, usually you see the last thing in, uh, be, after the sun sets, a bright star setting after the sun. So it becomes extremely prominent in the character of this person. And the star which comes before the sun, you see here in the, sign, in the direction opposite of the movement of the horoscope, uh, this planet 
it will be a planet which is the first thing that is seen before the sun rises and it becomes extremely prominent as well. So before the sun rises, say if you have Mercury in the preceding sign, uh, before the sun it will be the first star coming like a messenger before the sun. So it also becomes extremely important in your character. And we're considering only the seven visible stars for this. The seven visible planets, or we call them planets. Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. We don't look at Uranus, we don't look at Pluto, you don't look at Rahu, Ketu, the nodes. Only the five visible, uh, only the five visible planets. And what happens then? Well, imagine if the sun is the king. Is the king in the horoscope is the planet which basically it symbolizes your creative side, your, your active side with which you go after your goals, with which you create something grand or achieve the desires you have. Uh, so uh, when there are two planets next, or one before or one after the sun, these are like the advisors of the king. These are like the left and right hand of the king. So when there are planets in the signs before or after the sun, it means that the sun or the sun is your, your inner king, you know, your inner authority figure within you, which goes after the goals in your life, goes after the success, goes after the uh, inspirations which the sun gives, it has advisors, so it has, you know, it has helpers. Uh, and uh, whichever those planets are, they become extremely prominent in your character, in, in your life, for instance. Uh, and there will be, uh, and there will be the planets that are before or after the sun, there will be their qualities of those planets will be those through which you can achieve your goals more, through which you can, through the resources of which you can uh, achieve the things you want in life. So when, you, when there are planets before or after the sign of the sun, these planets help you get what you want in life and be more initiative and be more successful in life. Uh, some people would have planets in the same sign as the sun, but those planets, whenever you're in the same room as the king, they kind of, they're powerless almost, you know, because the sun is so powerful, it's bright, everything in the, very close to the sun, say in the same sign as the sun, will be invisible. It will be overshadowed by the light of the sun. So the potency of those planets that are together with the sun decreases a lot. But the planets which are before the sun and after uh, uh, before and after the sun, they immediately, you know, there are planets which become brighter. They're the closest friends of the sun of the king, they're the uh, closest friends of the king, but they have their autonomous uh, uh, power as well to, to change, to make things happen, you know, to, uh, to give authority into your world, you know, into your life as well. So first of all, though, those planets which come before the sun, so basically if it's here, with, let's say here, in the preceding sign before, uh, you know, if it's here, it's 11. So basically here, the sign preceding the sun, these will be the rising planets. Uh, so I want you first to check if you have planets preceding the sign of the sun in the, the, the direction opposite of the movement of the horoscope, the sign before it. These will be the more powerful success causing combinations. Uh, success causing uh, planets and these qualities of those planets will be extremely uh, visible in the person uh, for instance let's say you have Venus here because this planet comes before the Sun in the sign before the Sun say you have Venus in the sign before the sun. This is something that people will first see in you. This is what impression we would leave to others when they see you. So these qualities of Venus will be extremely powerful in your personality and these will be qualities through which you can initiate success, through which you can initiate activities in your life, through which you can be remembered by and through which you can have big successes in your life through. And someone who has Venus in the sign before the sun, say here, if you're using Western chart astrology, Venus will be here in the sign preceding the sun. If you have Venus, Venus is the planet of beauty. So a lot of famous actresses or models usually might have a Venus in the sign preceding the sun because they're known for their Venusian qualities, feminine, beauty, attractiveness. Merlin Monroe, for instance, had this combination, you know. It doesn't mean that the woman is more lovable or loving or, or, or anything like that. It's just, even if she's not so the most beautiful one, men would notice uh, and others would notice about her first, those Venusian qualities because Venus 
is a rising star here. It comes before the sun. And these are uh, qualities through which you initiate success in your life. So Venusian qualities through charms, through grace, through diplomacy, through kindness, through uh, uh, tactfulness. Venus is all those lovely uh, skills, all those lovely qualities. So such people, uh, to others, they would give an impression of being more artistic, being more um, beauty prone, more fashionable, even having a better sense of fashion as well. Uh, these people will also, uh, as I said, project. When others see them, they'll notice first about them these Venusian qualities. And they would initiate everything in life with Venusian qualities, as I said, tact, with kindness, with the charm, uh, with harmony, trying to harmonize everything. And they can have success. They can be known for Venusian achievement, say for in fashion, say for beauty, say for uh, diplomacy, for consulting. Venus is the planet of, uh, that uh, appreciates and um, judges whether something is worth it or not worth it. So such people, uh, others might come to them for advice more often, especially practical worldly advice. Uh, and they can be successful in a lot of Venusian activity. Venus is also um, entertainment, Venus is also arts and beauty. Uh, and uh, or for instance let's say you have mercury in the sign preceding the sign of the sun say here uh, mercury is the planet of communication so such people we immediately have the impression of being someone quite intelligent uh, others will notice them for their knowledge for their ability to communicate to express them to express themselves because mercury becomes a rising star during the morning mercury becomes very visible in the sky when it's the sign preceding the sun so such people are remembered by mercurial qualities with with uh, fastness of mind uh, good communication skills, ability to, uh, uh, Mercury is the practical mind with which you deal with daily uh, affairs and business. So such people can be known for business skills, for uh, lawyers, for ability to talk, for ability to express themselves, for ability to uh, communicate, as I said, for ability to handle uh, and manage uh, things with efficiency. So this is what you'll notice first about the person Mer Mercury. And, they, and you can initiate, you can have success in life through mercurial activities. And these are all those, you know, activities of the lower mind, which are business, which are practical, which are efficient, which are communicative. Uh, which is about information, which is about knowledge. So such people, you know, they can, uh, for instance, I think Steve Jobs had Mercury before coming before the sun in this way, and uh, computers, uh, everything to do with Mercury, you know, information. So that's what he was remembered in life with. This is how he initiated his life, with intelligence, with wit. Uh, and um, <laughs> just a second. Uh, or you can have, for instance, Jupiter here. Jupiter in the sign preceding the sun, you know, preceding, if you just can't see the number that is before that in the direction of the horoscope. If Jupiter is there, these people will be noticed first thing about their Jupiterian qualities, which is uh, wisdom. Jupiter is the wise, very uh, intelligent planet, uh, the planet of Mercury's intelligence and practicality and fastness of the mind, but Mercury is more like a uh, bigger knowledge about the world, it's a tolerance, it's acceptance, it's high-mindedness, uh, it's a very kind of a, uh, there is a very intelligent and open-minded aura about these people, and the first thing you notice about them is Jupiter. Jupiter is wealth, abundance, uh, and positivity, and faith, and meaningfulness, so they would approach life with Jupiter and qualities they would initiate activities which is sun the sun shows your activities you know uh, uh, you, you they would initiate them with jupiterian skills and qualities with optimism with faith with uh, belief and others will feel like trusting those people more so this is a great combination to have jupiter coming uh, before the sun uh, and um, uh, with a bigger broader understanding with a higher understanding, you know, these people are very open-minded, they can see things from from a higher point of view, and others will notice those qualities uh, about you first, those very generous, open-minded, uh, high-minded ideas and uh, beliefs that you have, almost 
even philosophical slant of mind or very wise aura about you. Or you can have a difficult planet like Saturn, for instance, uh, coming before the sun in the sign before the sun. Then people will notice you about your Saturnian qualities first. So you can give an impression of someone who is a bit more distant, a bit more careful, a bit more withdrawn, a bit more cautious, taking their time always. And others can uh, respect you a lot with this position because Saturn is very authoritative planet. So others would not, you know, they'll be careful what you say because you might give a bit of a hard, uh, hard first impressions to others. Saturn is preceding the sun. And when you're getting into new activities, you'd always approach them with more cautiousness, with Saturnian qualities, with more patience, with more judging and seeing how things go first and not without recklessness, you know, even a bit fear sometimes, you know, a bit, a bit too much of worry sometimes that you can approach things. So people would very much notice your Saturnian qualities in you. Uh, but they can trust you more because of those Saturnian qualities of someone who is very practical, very down to earth, very stable and um, taking things slowly, you know, and um, uh, it's very, uh, Saturn is the planet of um, responsibility, someone very responsible and mature. You can give such an impression, even though a bit more aloof and distant. Or you can have Mars, another hard planet, preceding the, the sun uh, and the sign of the sun. When Mars, you give an impression of someone who is very get up and go, you'd be very initiative uh, because Mars is the planet of energy. It's just like it's restless, it cannot wait to go and get things done. So you'll be like known like a doer, like a uh, go-getter, like an ambitious person. They'll notice, others will notice your Mars in you. Sometimes it might be to a good extent, Mars, which is the uh, person who courageous, who goes and gets things done, who, who goes after their goals with a lot of excitement. Sometimes if you have a Mars in a difficult sign, it might be a difficult expression of Mars, as someone who steps on other stalls, who is a bit too abrasive, a bit too rash. But of course, that's too delicate. That's already too complex analysis. I just want to give you the overall view. So others will notice you for your martial qualities, for your qualities of a go-getter, qualities of a competitive person, qualities of someone who is, um, you know, even a bit too abrasive and a bit too pushy or a bit too uh, aggressive sometimes, you know, or overly excitable in some way. Uh, and I think we covered all the five planets, Venus, Mercury, Mars. Jupiter and Saturn. But what happens if those planets come in the sign after Sun? Say we have Venus here. Well, this, the sign coming after the Sun, shows qualities that are in, in, deeply inside the individual, but only once you start, once you get to know them. And they can rely on having success in those activities of this planet, but um, it's always a bit after you get to know this person. For instance, um, if you have, uh, say, a difficult, uh, uh, say, Saturn planet here, Saturn in the sign preceding the sun, so others see you a bit more distant, a bit more cautious, a bit more withdrawn, even a bit cold, colder, you know. But you have Venus coming in the sign after the sun. And Venus is the warm, affectionate, loving, passionate side. So people would never notice on first uh, appearance your, uh, they would notice the cold side of you. But once they get to know you, they'll notice this Venusian side of you. They'll notice your charm. They'll no notice your attractiveness, your sensuality. Uh, so uh, it's it's, uh, it's your more private side, but you still will strongly have it. And you can still rely on those Venusian qualities once they get to know you. Know All the qualities which we talked that Venus has come, diplomacy, tact, people will notice them about, uh, about you a bit later, you know, after they get to know you. Uh, and, uh, or Jupiter qualities, for instance. If it comes in the sign after the sun, the people, uh, even if you have a difficult planet before the sun, say Saturn, you're someone who is cold, hard, or a bit more uh, that you make an impression on others as more distant when and if you have Jupiter after the Sun when people get to know you they would notice this Jupiterian side of you very optimistic very generous very giving very wise very optimistic you know uh, who is looking for meaning in life for the deeper things and who has a lot of inner knowledge or uh, if you have for instance Mercury there on first impression it might not be so visible but once people get to know you, you have great ability to rely on res mercurial resources which is wit which is ability to communicate which is ability to um, uh, uh, to to be productive and efficient in the material world because Mercury is the manager the planet of the manager which is uh, business skills as well uh, and um, 
which is as well um, ability to to uh, connect with people, ability to network as well. Uh, and uh, then say we have Saturn. And for instance, you have here uh, in the previous sign Jupiter. So first impression, you're someone very optimistic, very um, uh, kind-hearted and tolerant and accepting. But uh, the Saturn comes, Saturn is in the sign after your sun. So once people get to know you, they realize that actually you're much more cautious, you're much more reserved, you have a lot of, um, uh, a, a lot of, um, uh, a much more responsible person rather than this uh, open-minded and easily uh, uh, very believing person which Jupiter type is. But once get, they get to know you, with, if you have Saturn in the sign after the sun, they'll realize that you are someone uh, who holds on more to the difficult things in life, just like Saturn or, Mer or Mars here. Mars is the other difficult planet. Whenever you have Saturn or Mars in the sign after the sun, these are the two difficult planets. Uh, it means that the person would hold on much more dearly and would appreciate much more the difficult periods of their life. They would consider very important those difficult periods of life. Second house is what you hold within yourself and what you remember uh, after, you know, after the long term. So if you have one of the difficult planets such after the, in the sign after the sun, such people, for them, they would appreciate much more the time when they had to go through a struggle, the lessons they learned through a difficult experience, the periods of self-disciplining themselves, or the periods when they had to overcome certain obstacles, had to, had to um, overcome a certain weakness in themselves, the periods of testing, the periods of pain, because they, uh, they somehow they hold on to those difficult periods, not as, as like an elephant, just remembering the bad things, but they, they kind of, they appreciate the value of difficulties that they go through in their life. So they tend to, uh, <clears throat> to very much value the hardships in life, to very much uh, take advantage of those values and use them to the best of their ability somehow to contribute to, um, uh, to their development. And for instance, I have a, a friend, my best friend, who has as initiating planets, the planets coming before the sun has their uh, some very lovely planets like Jupiter and Mercury. So on first approach, he's very talkative, friendly, easygoing, you know, uh, optimistic and friendly. But once you get to know her, she has Saturn and Mars in the sign after the sun. So once you get to know her, you, you realize she's a real tough cookie, a real uh, tough person who is like a, a warrior within, who is very hard on themselves. Saturn in the second sign from the sun, there will be someone who is critical towards themselves and towards others and who learns from the difficulties in life a lot. And uh, basically, she's much more Saturnian and martial once you get to know her. And uh, <clears throat> her, rather than uh, the, the planets that give the first impression. Or sometimes it can be the opposite. You can have someone who has difficult planets as initiating here, say Mars, is the first impression that this person gives us someone as a go-getter, someone who is going to tell you directly in your face what you think, who can utilize martial energy to go and do anything they want. But they will have, say, Venus or Jupiter here, which are very gentle, loving planets. So once you get to know this person, you realize that what they really care about and what they really, the resources they really hold on to life is the good memories, the good experiences, the love, for, for instance, from a relationship, they'll remember all the good positive periods in this love relationship. Even if the person hurt them a lot, they would hold on to the good and easy things in life. They would hold on, they would um, appreciate those and utilize those in their life. So you can see yeah, some people have no planets before or after the sun. And what happens is, for instance, I'm like that. So these people on first or later impression, it's harder to get to know those people. So it takes longer time to get to know them. Because those planets, there are no planets which are somehow emphasized so strongly if they're in the sign before or after the sun. Uh, those planets are strongly emphasized, so the person becomes much more you know, uh, you, you see very strong qualities of those planets in the person's temperament, in the person's character. Uh, and somehow the person is a bit more personable or noticeable or um, uh, imp leaves an impression somehow. There's a very strong qualities and these planets are strongly stabilized when they're there before or after the sun. So they kind of, they're like the left and right hand of the king. The left, the right hand is the planets preceding the sun because 
uh, the right hand is the one with which you get much more things done because these are the initiating planets. And the left hand is uh, the planets which are in the sign after the sun uh, because they're like the advisors who are there, you know, giving an advice to their sun. But planets with no, but people with no planets before or after the sun, they usually tend to be, to be, to take you longer to get to know them. First impressions don't always say, um, uh, that doesn't always get to the depth of them. You don't always get to understand what these people are from after knowing that you need to know them for a while to get to know this. And for instance, I have this, uh, I have most of my planets inside in the same sign of the sun and none on the side. So um, people often get the wrong impression of me. It takes them a couple of years or a year to really get to know what I am more truly like. You know, while people with strong planets here or here, you see those planets in them and they'll be able to utilize. They'll have like the king has more help then. The king can rely on more resources, the qualities, whether of Mars, of Saturn, of Venus or of Jupiter, even if they're harsh qualities like Saturn or, 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 or Mars, if one of those planets is here, there's still qualities which will be strong in you. You can initiate and have success through Saturnian qualities, which is cautiousness, which is criticism, which is hard work, which is patience, which is perseverance, uh, and um, uh, being hard on yourself or others, you know, authoritarian qualities, or you can succeed through martial qualities, which is uh, pushing ambition, drive, you know, uh, hardship solving solving problems so you can succeed through venetian court as i said uh maybe some courtesans they would, they would really benefit from having venus in the sign before the sun or after the sun <laughs> or a mercurial qualities for a, say for a merchant, for a trader, for a business person having mercury before or after the sun. Before the sun is a bit more powerful, it's in your face. Uh, you see it immediately while well, after the sun uh, having this planet, it takes a while, but uh, you notice those qualities very strongly again in the person. So if you have, especially if you have a planet on both sides, one here and one here or two here or one here, it's extremely, you have like a lot of support in your life, a lot of strong qualities which you can utilize. And as we said, only one of those five visible planets. Uh, you have strong support system in you for success in life and strong personable uh, aura. Uh, in the, the, it's, it's, and also like the king is surrounded by qualified and good people and, and you have resources to reach out and skills and talents which to utilize. If you don't have any planets, as I said, it might take longer for you also to find um, yourself or to find your calling or to, uh, for people to get to know you better. Well, thank you so much. I hope I was able to not confuse you too much. <laughs> and please share with us, do you have this in your horoscope? Do you agree with this? Have the planets preceding or after the sun have helped you with their qualities in your life in some way? Uh, and, in, and how? And do you identify with those qualities of the planets preceding or after the sun? And do others see you in that light? Thank you.